Okay, this video is definitely getting copyright claimed, so please be sure to like and comment your thoughts on the Batman camera test footage as we're about to show you in full 4K with the original audio score by Michael Giacchino uh, that was released yesterday through Matt Reeves' uh, Vimeo account on Valentine's Day. I'm sorry for all the people who dislike the teaser. I know that you're out there. If you want to fight me in the comments down below, I'll be there. Trust me, I'll be there. Um, but I've already had a few arguments on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter right here. You know, I actually had one guy argue that the music that they use in this little teaser, the camera test teaser, is too simple. <laughs> um, that it's just two notes played uh, in different tempos throughout the, you know, 45, 50 seconds that it does play. And to that I say, you know, Jaws won the Academy Award for Best Soundtrack in 1976, and that was arguably simpler I personally love what Michael Giacchino did with the theme for this, and I, I believe it's going to be the theme in the actual film for the Batman himself, uh, based on what Matt Reeves said in this tweet right here. I have a theory about Giacchino's Batman theme that I'll break down after I show you the test footage in 4K, but um, I, I think I like the music more than I do the actual footage. Uh, not because the footage was lacking in any way that I found, but... Um, the music just screams Batman. If you close your eyes, you don't see anything on the screen and you just listen to this theme and try to picture heroes uh, that this could work with, Batman is one of the first that comes to mind. I'm not even a Batman fanboy. I don't even own anything with the bat symbol on it, but this looks fantastic. Uh, so just, you know, sit back, watch this in full 4K if you can, and uh, let me know your thoughts. That was cringe, but can't you picture Danny Elfman's theme, like, playing into Michael Giacchino's theme, like, right after that bit where it crescendos up to the top? I can totally picture, um, in the full version of the Batman theme that we're going to be getting with this film, Michael Giacchino uh, referencing that very classic Danny Elfman theme um, that was also used in the, uh, the 90s animated series. Uh, it, it's just such a great theme. But I also love Giacchino's theme quite a bit, and I think, I just have a feeling that he's going to merge it somehow. Let's talk about the costume a little bit, because I think that's really important. Let's start by looking at the Bat Symbol logo on his chest. It's a lot thinner than the Fat Bat logo that we got with Ben Affleck's version of the Batman. Um, but arguably more important is the fact that it's made out of what appears to be a gun, and it's most likely the gun that killed his parents. This could be a reference to Detective Comics 1000, written by Kevin Smith and illustrated by Jim Lee, where Batman takes the gun uh, that killed his parents and reforges it into the, the breastplate that will basically save his heart if he's ever injured. I'm going to make that metal pay for its sins. I'm going to burn the metal that killed my parents and forge it into something useful. So the metal that broke my heart as a child, that same metal will protect my heart as a man. If that's true, I think that's really cool. But let's take a look at the cowl now. Look at how it's stitched together. It, it almost looks like leather. You can't really tell, but I'll brighten it for you. And it looks homemade. It doesn't look like plastic molding or uh, anything super special. It looks like a young Batman. And I think that's really cool, like a Batman year one sort of thing, where he's just now trying to figure out what his look is going to be. And I, I think he finally nails it in this one. Um, and I, I like the fact that it doesn't have a really polished look to it. It almost has a daredevil look. And I think it was purposeful that they tried to make this teaser look the way that it did with the uh, the red tint so as to kind of play off of uh, the fact that people really want to see another season of Daredevil. And they missed the fact that the show was canceled 
Um, and it was one of the best, probably the best TV show that Marvel ever put out. So that way it can go a little viral and all that, and I think that's really cool. Overall, I think this is a way better first look at the Batman costume than uh, the <laughs> the sad Affleck look that we got uh, for Batman v Superman. I mean, that was fun and everything. Uh, I like the look of the really buff uh, Batman, but it was it was very fun to meme. That was a very memeable image. The reason I think we're getting this footage now is because I believe that they're going to start filming outdoors with the Batman. I think they've already started shooting some incidental stuff outdoors, and I think they're just trying to come out uh, ahead of the uh, the people who are on set taking pictures. So I, I think it makes sense, and I, I like the way that they did this. And also, please note that this is the same marketing strategy that they did with um, the Joker, and that film went on to make uh, more money than the latest Star Wars film. No joke, the Joker made more money than The Rise of Skywalker. That blows my mind. It's a rated R film that didn't even make its way into Chinese theaters. Craziness. That is actually craziness. What do you guys think of the Batman test footage? Um, again, follow me on Twitter for more of my thoughts because I, I, I put out a bunch of stuff on Twitter all the time. Um, I'm also giving updates to my Star Wars timeline, which I'm now in active development on. If you see me posting a little bit less... It's because I'm probably writing a very, very lengthy script for a canon Star Wars timeline. Uh, if you want to check out some more of our timeline stuff, you can check out our MCU timeline right here. It's huge. It's massive. But I think the Star Wars timeline is going to be even bigger. Jen's currently working, but she wanted me to tell you that she loves the score for this film. Uh, and I don't blame her. I, I think Michael Giacchino did, like, knocked it out of the park. Um, again, if this video gets uh, copyright claimed, I'm totally 100% okay with it. Either that's Giacchino or Greg Frazier or uh, Matt Reeves or even Warner Brothers. I think you're well within your rights this time for claiming uh, this content. But again, if you guys like this content, that alleviates some of the loss that we'll receive on this video. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, again, like it, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe. Guys, why aren't you subscribed? Tell me why. Why aren't you subscribed? Bye, guys.